Hello to all the lovely ladies out there. Today we're going to explore an incredible variation of the black color that will capture many hearts. But that's not all. We'll perform a magical transformation of the nails including leveling and strengthening with Lix Poly Gel. I'm sure each of you will be thrilled with the result. I am Anna and let's get started right now. The girl initially came with the idea that her nails would be in a nude shade and I searched for many interesting design options for light nails. However, they all seemed somewhat repetitive and similar. And what do you think we decided to do? Right, we made them black, but with a twist that made the girl say, wow. But let's start from the beginning. We want to cover the black color up to the cuticle, so everything needs to be cleaned thoroughly. We remove the old non-material that slid off. I use a carbide bit for my electric file with the RPM set at 18,000. Then we push back the cuticles, making sure we have enough space to work with the electric file to clean up the pterygium. Next, we shape the nail and file it, opening the scales for a good adhesion to the base. I always use a 180 grit file, which works well for both natural nails and shaping artificial materials. Well, let's move on to the combination manicure. I have a flame-shaped bit with blue notches on it. Just a reminder, the blue mark on the bit indicates that it's a 180 grit. We work smoothly and without pressure into the plate, otherwise we'll just file through it. Also, don't forget about the angle and positioning of the bit. Never tilt the tip into the nail. Our cuticles are in good condition, so I'll do a dry cut. This saves me time and I won't worry about lifting due to cuticle remover. I use Stalex scissors, they're the most comfortable scissors I've seen and worked with and I continue to use them. To avoid hangnails, we cut the cuticle in one whole intact piece, or at least try to do so. If necessary, we can file away any rough edges. After that, we clean up the file residue and apply preparatory products. First, I apply a dehydrator to remove moisture from the nail and then Ultra Bond, which works like a double-sided scotch tape. Give it some time to evaporate and then you can start with the base. Since I'll be using a solid material for re reinforcement, I need a flexible base. I apply it with a rubbing motion and cure it in the lamp for half a minute. With this technique, not the cat, you can work on all the nails at once, as the base layer is thin and won't run anywhere. After curing, we apply our gel number 8. First, I fully coat the entire nail, and only then I place a drop and spread it out. Many people have asked whether it's necessary to remove the tacky layer from the base before applying the gel. It's not mandatory, you can remove it or you can leave it on. It doesn't affect the wear. When working with the gel, don't forget that you should leave a tiny gap from the cuticle to have a minimal gel layer there, otherwise there might be lifting. Also, remember to flip the finger so that the gel is in the stress zone and the nail appears smooth and beautiful. After we've leveled everything, we put the hand into the lamp for curing for 2 minutes. Before applying the color gel, we remove the dispersion layer, otherwise the color will start spreading across the whole nail. Using a cuticle pusher, I pushed back the proximal fold to paint as deeply as possible. The black color applies perfectly in one layer and dries beautifully. Using a brush from the bottle, I coat the entire nail. Now, to bring the color close to the cuticle, I use a thin brush, gently stretching the proximal and lateral folds while doing so. Now comes the magic part, the milky top coat. I coat the entire nail with it, placing a small drop in the central part. With a thin brush, I spread it along the plate and flip the finger. The top coat then starts to self-level, 
It gathers in the center, creating a beautiful gradient. The key is to coat the plate evenly first. This makes it easier for the top coat to spread. Now I'll give you some time to enjoy this process. Some slider designs with inscriptions and it was a wonderful idea. I coat the sliders with a dehydrator and then simply cover them with a top coat and they stay on perfectly. I don't use special bonding bases or top coats for securing the design. The key is to ensure that the design itself is of good quality and then you won't encounter any issues. My top coat also has no sticky layer and no filters, as dark colors can take on a bluish tint with filters. So it's better to apply dark polishes without a filter. Look at the beauty we've created, isn't it amazing? The client left with great excitement and a smile on her face. For me, as a nail artist, that's the most important thing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on new videos. See you soon, beauties!